the French Embassy in Ottawa, a growing memorial to a grieving nation. And tighter security, part of a heightened state of awareness for the RCMP. From the ambassador, condemnation and a warning to the perpetrators of the attacks in Paris. The uh, determination, the resolution of the coalition to strike ISIS remains uh, total and like my president says, will be merciless. On Parliament Hill, a call for the government to reconsider its pledge to pull out of the U.S.-led coalition bombing ISIS targets. Many of us, particularly the official opposition, are even more resolute in our determination to stand shoulder to shoulder with our allies. With me in the studio, the Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness, Ralph Goodell. Thank you, Mr. Goodell. Glad to be here. Now, can you tell us if if any Canadians have been injured or perhaps killed in that terrible Paris attack? There seems to be no Canadian connection either in the, the perpetrators of the attack uh, or among the, uh, uh, the victims. Of course, we're waiting for the, for the further information, the detail, as everyone is identified, uh, but there appear to be no Canadian deaths. And no Canadian connection at all with the, with the terrorist? No, no. Uh, obviously, we're very alert to that, and there's nothing that's come through either our Canadian sources or international sources that would identify uh, any connection to Canada whatsoever. Now, the RCMP says there is a heightened uh, alert uh, that's gone across the country. What does that mean? Well, it, it means that uh, the RCMP are, uh, are practicing special vigilance, as is CSIS. Uh, they are in constant communication with other police forces and security agencies uh, across the country, and everybody uh, is double-checking and triple-checking uh, all of the facts, all of the evidence, uh, uh, all of the circumstances that they, uh, that they keep an eye on. Uh, and uh, as far as we know now, uh, there is no change in any circumstance in Canada, and the, uh, the, the risk assess assess assessment uh, remains as it was. Now, the French say that one of the attackers was a, um, a Syrian refugee who had come in from Syria through Greece. Um, we are also bringing in 25,000 refugees. Uh, we know that part of the tactic of ISIS is to put in jihadist fighters. Are we still committed to that time frame of before the end of the year? And are there now even more special measures in place to make sure that the country will be safe? Uh, Minister McCallum and the, uh, the Cabinet Committee are working through all the details of the plan. I participate in that as, as Minister of Public Safety. Uh, the, the details will be uh, released as soon as they are, are finalized, but, but complete security screening uh, has been a part of the plan from, from the very beginning. As you know, the situation in Europe with the influx uh, uh, coming in in such a chaotic, ad hoc manner uh, presented uh, very unusual and very difficult uh, security issues. Uh, from, from the point of view of the process that we're uh, proposing to put in place, uh, it will be uh, a much more orderly and controlled situation and complete security checks are part of that process, as are health checks and neither of those will be compromised. And I, I mean, the people that we're taking, bringing, they're bringing in from the camps, they've already been screened by the United Nations Refugee Agency, and then you were screening them as well, is that right? That's that, indeed. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the UN agency uh, provides the, uh, the, the first examination, uh, and then we have our own, and we, uh, we check uh, all of the uh, available information against all the available databases to make absolutely certain about uh, who we're dealing with. Now, some of them will be screened, though, on a military basis here in Canada. If there's a problem, we know our law makes it difficult to send them back. But our law also uh, provides the authority to, uh, uh, to deal with them domestically within Canada if that becomes, if that becomes necessary. Uh, but the important point is to make sure that the security screening, screening is, uh, is thorough and competent in the first place. Uh, and my officials are working with the immigration officials, uh, with uh, the RCMP, with CSIS, with international agencies uh, to make sure that this is as, as uh, thorough and competent and effective as possible. Can it be 100% foolproof? Well, nothing in life is is 100 percent, but uh, we're satisfied that the process is strong and robust. The Conservatives say you have to rethink your plan to pull out of the U.S.-led air war. 
Is that being rethought? The, the, the point that we have made for a long time about the, uh, the, the mission against uh, ISIL is that clearly ISIL is evil, it is a scourge on the earth, the world has come together in large measure to, uh, to battle that. There are, there are many tools and techniques by which you, you can combat uh, this, uh, this evil. We believe the, uh, the highest and best use of Canadian resources uh, is, is focused on the training mission. The, to, to ensure that uh, that local ground forces are are better able to so combat this So we're, we're going to put more special forces in. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Trudeau and the defense minister will will uh, announce the uh, the trans the details of the transition plan uh, over the next uh, while, uh, and that'll obviously be done in an orderly manner, uh, recognizing our our responsibilities and uh, and in a way that uh, that works well with our with our allies. Uh, but uh, in order to be most effective in dealing with this awful problem for the long term, uh, an investment in training of ground forces, uh, local ground forces in the region, is likely to be more effective in the long term. And does that mean that we keep our, our surveillance aircraft to help the Allies as well? I mean, if we pull out the, the combat mission, but we have our. They the, like our surveillance aircraft. The the details of the process will be will be uh, laid out by the by the Minister of National Defence. But we will make sure it is done in an orderly and responsible way that respects our obligations to our allies. Minister, thank you for coming in this morning. Appreciate My pleasure. It.